As the most recognized brand in the business, the Ultimate Fighting Championship has become the proving ground for the world's most elite mixed martial artists. The competition in the UFC is fierce, which is why sooner or later, even the best fighters wind up on the receiving end of a knockout blow. Still, surprising as it might be, several of the organization's most prominent stars suffered some of their most brutal knockouts outside the octagon. In this episode, we'll take a look at 10 MMA superstars who experienced some of the worst KOs of their careers in organizations other than the UFC. As always, if you guys enjoy this video, then please be sure to let me know by leaving a like and subscribing to our channel. Now, without further ado, and ranked in no particular order, let's take a look at 10 UFC stars who suffered brutal knockouts outside the promotion. Number 10. Conor McGregor the fighting pride of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Conor McGregor is an international superstar who has taken MMA to new heights in terms of popularity and mainstream appeal. Moreover, the Irishman has had an outstanding career in the octagon, including championship reigns in two divisions. Of course, one of the worst knockouts of his career came in his most high-profile fight, a boxing match with the legendary Floyd Mayweather. The two combat sports megastars collided at the T-Mobile Arena in 2017. Things started out relatively well for McGregor, who managed to hold his own in the early going. However, the boxing champ began to turn up the heat in round 10, landing a series of brutal shots on the MMA star. Mayweather's unanswered onslaught forced the referee to halt the action, resulting in a TKO victory for the former Olympian. That said, McGregor reportedly made around $100 million for the fight, despite the setback, so it wasn't a total loss. Number 9. Alexander Volkanovsky Since signing with the UFC in 2016, reigning featherweight champion Alexander Volkanovsky has won all 10 of his fights, including victories over Jose Aldo and Max Holloway. The only blemish on his otherwise perfect record came back in 2013, when he battled a relatively obscure Aussie fighter named Corey Major Nelson at Australian Fight Championship 5. Nelson, who appeared much larger than the future UFC title holder, picked up the biggest win of his career with a beautiful uppercut that sent Volkanovski crashing to the canvas, handing the UFC champ the only loss of his career. With a 19-8 professional record, the man they call Major hasn't beaten anyone of note since, but he remains the only fighter to defeat Alexander Volkanovsky. Number 8. Holly Holm The preacher's daughter Holly Holm became an MMA star seemingly overnight when she shocked the world by knocking out Ronda Rousey at UFC 193. Since pulling off one of the biggest upsets in combat sports history, the Albuquerque native has remained one of the pound-for-pound -pound best female fighters in the business. One of Holmes' keys to success has been her durability, having been knocked out just once in her 19-fight MMA career. Of course, before becoming a UFC champion, she was a decorated boxer who held several championships. During her boxing career, Holm was hit with a blow that quite literally knocked her out of the ring. In her December 2011 bout with Anne-Sophie Matisse, the preacher's daughter was blasted with a series of heavy shots that appeared to put her out against the ropes. Remarkably, the referee actually pulled Holly Holm back into the ring and allowed the fight to continue. Just seconds later, Holm was then hit with a vicious right hand that immediately put her to sleep, resulting in a shocking KO loss. While many athletes would have been rethinking their career choices after such a loss, Holm rebounded nicely after the setback. In her very next fight, the future UFC star avenged the loss with a unanimous decision win. Number 7. Ben Askren For years, former Olympic wrestler Ben Askren used his world-class grappling to dominate opponents outside the UFC. The two-time NCAA Division I national champ was undefeated throughout his first 20 pro fights, capturing both the Bellator and 1FC welterweight titles during that span. Unfortunately for Askren, he had little success inside the UFC octagon. After a controversial win over Robbie Lawler, the former Bellator champ was on the receiving end of a Jorge Masvidal flying knee that sent his career off the rails. Following his loss to Damian Maya at UFC Fight Night 162 in October of 2019, Askren decided to call it a career. However, a lucrative offer was enough to coax him out of combat sports retirement to box social media sensation Jake Paul. The two met in April of 2021 in a fight that's legitimacy has come under scrutiny. If Askren was paid to take a dive, he put on a convincing performance. Paul connected with a well-timed right that put the former MMA star down and prompted the ref to call a stop to the action. While getting knocked out by a YouTuber with questionable boxing credentials had to be humbling for Askren, he did make half a million dollars for participating in the spectacle. Number 6. Sage Northcutt 
With his movie star good looks and natural athleticism, Super Sage Northcutt has the makings of a future star. Having made his promotional debut at the age of 19, the Texas-born karate expert had some success in the UFC, compiling a 6-2 record with the promotion, albeit against lower-tier competition. Somewhat surprisingly, when the marketable prospect's contract expired, Dana White and company opted not to re-sign him. White claimed that Northcutt was young and needs some work, then suggested he get some experience fighting in other promotions. So far, the whole fighting in other promotions idea hasn't worked out so well. In his 1FC debut back in May of 2019, Northcutt would take on Brazilian kickboxing specialist Cosmo Alessandre. Unfortunately for Sage Northcutt, his opponent wasted little time in spoiling his promotional debut. Just 29 seconds into the contest, the Showtime kickboxing champ landed a terrifying right that sent his opponent crashing to the mat face first. Sadly, Northcutt suffered eight facial fractures and hasn't fought since. Number 5. Chuck Liddell Chuck Liddell vs. Tito Ortiz was one of the UFC's great early rivalries in terms of box office success. Still, their two fights inside the octagon were one-sided, with Liddell picking up knockout victories on both occasions. Of course, the pair would meet for a final time outside the UFC in November of 2018 as part of Golden Boy Promotions' first and likely only MMA event. Roughly 12 years after their last encounter in the octagon, a 48-year-old Liddell would face a 43-year-old Ortiz in a battle of aging legends. This time around, Ortiz would gain a measure of revenge by knocking out his longtime nemesis in the first round. The ill-advised trilogy fight failed to capture MMA fans' interest a third time, with the event garnering around 30,000 pay-per-view buys compared to the 929,000 for their second bout at UFC 66. Number 4. Nick Diaz Stockton, California's Nick Diaz has long been regarded as one of MMA's biggest stars and has justifiably earned a reputation of being one of the most difficult fighters to put away. The former Strikeforce champion has competed in a total of 37 professional bouts and has only been legitimately finished just once over the course of a career that has lasted roughly 15 years. True, KJ Nunes holds a TKO victory over the elder Diaz brother in a fight that went down back in November of 2007. However, the TKO was due to a doctor's stoppage. To date, the only man to finish Nick Diaz in the heat of combat is a mostly forgotten fighter named Jeremy Jackson. Back in 2002, Jackson managed to catch Diaz with a big left hand and followed up with a flurry of punches to earn a TKO victory early in the first round, handing Diaz his first and thus far only knockout loss of his professional career. The win would set up the stage for a trilogy that saw Diaz avenge the loss twice over. Number 3. Cody Garbrandt Cody No Love Garbrandt's professional MMA career couldn't have gotten off to a much better start. The Team Alpha Male product won his first 11 pro fights, including an impressive victory over Dominic Cruz to capture the bantamweight crown at UFC 207. However, before he hit it big, No Love suffered the fastest loss of his career on the amateur circuit back in 2012. Only the most hardcore Garbrandt fans likely remember Jarrell Thundercat Hodge, the man who used a well-timed right cross to put the future UFC champ away in just 10 seconds. For those who may be wondering, Hodge turned pro in 2014, having compiled an 8-3 record competing for various regional promotions in the state of Ohio. Number 2. Demetrius Johnson In recent years, 1FC has been able to land several former UFC stars like Sage Northcutt and Eddie Alvarez. That said, Pound-for-pound pound great Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson is the biggest name the Japanese-based promotion has been able to get its hands on thus far. Unlike Alvarez and Northcutt, the former UFC flyweight champ has had a good deal of success in his new organization, winning his first three fights under the 1FC banner. Of course, Mighty Mouse's most recent bout with BJJ specialist Adriano Marias produced a shocking upset. In April of 2021, Marias stunned MMA pundits by becoming the first man to finish Johnson. The Brazilian landed a vicious right hand that was followed up with a nasty knee to set up a second-round KO victory, thus retaining his 1FC flyweight championship with a career-defining win. Number 1. Israel Adesanya As the reigning middleweight champ, Israel the last style bender Adesanya has looked nearly unbeatable since arriving in the UFC. Thus far, his only setback in the promotion came this past March, when he moved up a weight class to challenge Jan Blahovic for the light heavyweight crown. While Adesanya has never been finished in the UFC, the reigning middleweight king suffered a devastating KO loss while competing for Glory Kickboxing. At Glory of Heroes 7, the last style bender faced a Brazilian kickboxer named Alex Pereira. Pereira vs. Adesanya was an extremely competitive bout, at least until the third round, when the Brazilian landed a nasty left hook that knocked the future MMA star out cold. 
While it didn't happen in the UFC, the loss to Pereira proves that even one of the best strikers in combat sports can get caught. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to let me know by leaving a like and subscribing to our channel. Apart from that, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.